بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح صدری و یسر لی امری و حد الوقت ملی سان یفقه قولی This is a topic uh, change of state and I told you that this topic is also included here the first question the first MCQ uh, the substance is heated in an enclosed, enclosed space until it becomes a gas now here it is enclosed space until it becomes gas after the heater is removed the temperature is recorded at regular intervals the graph shows temperature plotted against time this long uh, x axis the time axis is there and along y axis there is temperature okay. the graph shows temperature plotted against time what does the section pq represent this pq what this pq represent temperature is decreasing first of all the temperature is decreasing and then when it comes here at p then the line becomes horizontal you know that if the line is becoming horizontal and then uh, basically what is going on the state is changing a uh, substance is heated in an enclosed space until it becomes a gas after the heater is removed now the heater is removed you will have to see that that enclosed from this that enclosed under the heater is removed the temperature is recorded at regular intervals so here you can see that uh, the heater was removed it mean that uh, the temperature of that liquid is dropping now here the temperature is dropping okay after dropping the temperature what is going on it was in the gaseous state but the temperature of the gas is dropping and then at this it is the gas is changing to liquid so this is condensing the answer is b because its state is changing from gaseous to liquid say condensing okay now we are at question number 2 what is the name given the amount of energy needed to turn 1 kg of water at 100 degrees celsius into steam at 100 degree degree celsius okay a b c and d four options are given you can see that the question is this that what is the name given to the amount of energy needed to turn 1 kg of water at 100 degrees celsius into steam at 100 degrees celsius that the amount of energy turn 1 kg of water at 100 degrees celsius into steam at 100 degrees celsius you can observe that what we are going to do that the temperature is not changing when the temperature is not changing it mean that the state may be changing so it is already what is the state 1 kg of water water was already at 100 degrees celsius it mean water will be changing to steam at 100 degrees celsius so state is changing from liquid to gaseous state hence it is the specific latent heat not the heat capacity in the heat capacity you know that uh, in heat capacity temperature changes occur but in the specific latent heat we have to see that this is 1 kg we cannot say that only latent heat because here mass is specified when the mass is specified so we are not going to say latent heat only we have to see say specific latent heat okay and you know that in the case of heat capacity both a and c are the heat capacity in the case of heat capacity temperature changes but here you can see that the temperature is not changing when the temperature is not changing it means the state is changing and i told you that when the state is changing it is the case of latent heat whether it is a latent heat of fusion or latent heat of vaporization now here latent heat of vaporization is there so now the mass has been specified 1 kg so it is the specific latent heat of vaporization in this question number 3 i am reading that ice at minus 10 degrees celsius is heated at a constant rate until it is water at 
positive 10 degrees Celsius. So ice was initially at minus 10 degrees Celsius. Now it was heated to get uh, water at 10 degrees Celsius, which graph shows how the temperature change, changes with time. Now here, which graph shows? Now here I'm explaining that it is minus 10 degrees Celsius ice, which is changing to water at 10 degrees, positive 10 degrees Celsius, okay? So which graph is showing you the correct answer? Option, the option in this case is B, because you know that initially the ice was as minus 10. Minus 10 ice is gaining temperature. First of all, the ice is gaining temperature. So here you can see this graph will be inclined, okay? The tilted line will show. Okay, after this, when the whole of the ice has gained the temperature at zero degrees Celsius, now the latent heat of fusion will be applied. The ice at zero degrees Celsius will start melting until this, from this point till this point, the time is passing on and the state is, state is changing from solid to liquid. Here, the ice at zero degrees Celsius is changing water at zero degrees Celsius. And then after the whole of the ice is changed into water at zero degrees Celsius, now the temperature will increase further till 10 degrees Celsius. So this is the B option. Question number four, which factor increases the rate of evaporation of a liquid? Here, increasing its temperature, increasing its surface area, increasing its depth. Now here you will have to see which option is correct. In question number four, the option is B. Okay, so because evaporation is affected by increasing the temperature and increasing the surface area, yes and yes, but evaporation does not depend upon depth. And you know that the, uh, the evaporation does not depend upon that uh, depth okay so i hope a hot liquid is carefully poured into a beaker the graph shows how its temperature changes at it cools towards room temperature okay now here again it is the cooling curve which process are taking place at region k at region x sorry which process is taking place at region X during this? So you have to see that which process is taking place. There are four options which are written here. You can decide where now you can see that the option is D. You know that initially the hot liquid is carefully poured. This was liquid, hot liquid. It was initially liquid, it mean when the liquid is, uh, the temperature of the liquid is dropping, the graph shows how its temperature changes at its cools towards the room temperature. So when the, first of all, liquid is, the temperature of the liquid is dropping in this portion, when the temperature of the liquid has come, because initially it was hot liquid, it mean here the temperature is dropping. Now, when the temperature of the liquid is dropping and one stage has come, here, the stage, when the horizontal uh, line is com uh, coming, it means the state is cha changing from liquid to next stage. Next, next state is the solid state. So basically, it's the solidification. First of all, at X is the solidification. Okay. So it cannot be uh, boiling and evaporation. It cannot be condensation only. So condensation, you know that it is from vapor to liquid state and evaporation only, the, not only the evaporation is acting, basically when this is being done, it is solidification and evaporation. Why evaporation is occurring? Because you know that when there is liquid, because whole of the liquid has not changed during this time interval. During this time interval, when the state was changing, the whole of the liquid has not changed. So along with solidification, evaporation is also occurring. And you know that evaporation occurs at all the temperature. So correct option is D. In question number six, some ice cubes are taken from a deep freezer and placed in a metal container. The metal container. The container is heated at a constant rate and readings of temperature and time are taken 
the results are recorded on a graph which temperature corresponds to 0 degree celsius which temperature corresponds to 0 degree celsius here a b c d are the options and this is basically the heating graph heating curve basically so you will have to decide that which graph is telling you the correct option that is temperature corresponding to 0 degree celsius the correct option in question number six is C. Here you can see that why the correct answer is C. C here that this was some cubes of ice were taken from a deep freezer. And when it were taken from the deep freezer, the temperature was slightly above zero degrees Celsius. And then it's starting, the temperature started increasing. Okay. The, so when the temperature started increasing, it means it was less than zero degrees Celsius. It, it, it should be less than zero degrees Celsius. This zero is showing the zero for time. Okay, this zero. If you are getting confused with this zero, this zero is showing the zero for time axis. This zero is not showing the temperature zero. Okay, so here it means the when the ice cubes are taken out from the deep freezer, it means its temperature would be, uh, yes, Numan Malik, it's correct answer here. Actually, I was explaining. Okay. Well, so at D point, so at D point, the ice was below zero degrees Celsius. Now its temperature increased. And now here the melting at C, the melting has started. And you know that the melting point or the freezing point of a substance of a pure substance remains the same. So here we are talking about ice cubes. Uh, so it's this portion at C is showing that the temperature is at zero degrees Celsius. In this question number seven, the energy required to change liquid water into water vapors at the same temperature is called latent heat of vaporization. This is the definition of what does this energy do? So this is the definition for latent heat of vaporization. The energy required to change liquid water, liquid water into water vapors at the same temperature. You know that state is changing. The temperature is not changing. This, this energy is called the latent heat of vaporization. What does this energy do? So here are four options. The option D actually, the remaining part of option D is this, that uh, splits the water molecules into their separate atoms. Okay, so students are giving me in this question, answer is A, the choice A. Because you know that whatever the heat is gained by, that increases the average separation of the water molecules. Because the water molecules are getting separated because the state is changing. Now. When the state is changing, it means the, the intermolecular spaces are increasing. Now, let me tell you why B, C, and D are not correct answer. Because in B, what is written? First of all, read the B increases the average speed of the water molecules. But the average speed of the water molecules does not cor correspond to the changing state. Okay, In the same way, uh, uh, the raises the temperature of air near the water. It doesn't matter. We are not concerned with uh, the air around this. And spread the water molecule into their at separate atom. So here the bonding uh, is not being bro broken. Okay, So here we are not talking about that the uh, uh, water is uh, spreading into hydrogen and oxygen. Well, so that's why the A is only the answer because the state is changing. And I told you when the state is changing, so basically what is happening, the intermolecular spaces is increasing. And then the state is changing. Question number eight, a two kilowatt kettle containing boiling water is placed on a balance. It is left there and continues to boil for five minutes. The balance reading changes by 0 0.2 kg. Okay. What does this information gives as a value for the specific latent heat of vaporization? Specific. Um, well, let us skip. Uh, although I just, I just want to tell you the answer directly. Uh, this option is D, so you can try it by solving with the help of the formula. We are just talking about uh, only 
the latent heat, uh, specific heat capacity. First of all, we are not talking about solving the latent heat of fusion or vaporization. So that's why I have skipped this question. Now come to question number nine. Now question number nine is uh, focused on. Now the graph shows the cooling curve of a hot substance. From this cooling curve, you can see that P, Q, R, and S, there are four points shown. So what you are going to do in which part of the curve is latent heat released? In which part the latent, in which portions the latent heat is released? Latent. Heat. Some students are not taking consideration that this is the room temperature. This is the room temperature. This dotted line is showing the room temperature. Okay. Which portion of the graph is showing the latent heat? Okay, Azba is correct. Reading the, uh, the correct answer is the B option, Q to R, because here you can see that the temperature is dropping, here the state is changing. And you know that when the state is changing, it is the latent heat of uh, whether, uh, whether it is latent heat of uh, vaporization or latent heat of fusion. So here, when the horizontal line is here, Q to R, this is the latent heat. Why this ST is not latent heat? Because here you can see that the substance has come to the room temperature. Okay, now it has come to the room temperature, so we will not consider it as a latent heat. In this question number 10, using an electric kettle, 100 grams of water at 100 degrees Celsius is converted into steam of 100 degrees Celsius in 300 seconds. The specific latent heat of steam is 2250. Uh, joules per gram, what is the average electrical power? You know that electric average, okay. Uh, question number 10. In question number 10, it is B. Very good, because the heat energy, whatever the heat energy is utilized here, divided by time in seconds, so option is B. B is the correct answer in question number 10. 